Hey, the rock and roll rowdies. So, taking you back to 1983 on a tour that I actually worked on with the, the fabulous, the divine Miss M, Bette Midler. This is a bit of footage from uh, the tour. The whole show was like a variety show. Uh, at the intermission, we changed the whole set, the lighting. And so, it's a really fun show. Take it away, Bette. Get on with it, you fucking I monkey. was yes. The Wuko and I I could never live both met Bet back in the old average white band days. By my right, Wilkie, you remember that? Yep. I spent so many nights thinking how yeah, Hamish and Bet were uh, together for a little minute. Yeah. I remember when Bet, Bet in the 70s was having a kind of rock and roll phase. And she came to a couple of gigs and she would come on to sing and she'd step all over on his pedals on the way to her singing position. So when I got working with her in 83, she was, uh, she, I was the only Brit on the crew. I'm from fucking Hartlepool. I'm a straight shooter. And she, uh, she and I got along. I was great watching this video because I can relive the whole thing. Which I said, we have met before, you know, but she goes, yeah. And I said, you used to go out with this Scottish bloke on the average white band. She said, what? You know those guys? Oh, my God. Well, we got on well. I tried not to get in their face too much, but we got on well. So this whole show, I mean, look at it. I mean, she's in a wheelchair with a microphone attached. The, the mermaids, the harlots are doing their routines. That whole, like, grid on the stage was a... a mat that we used to carry with us and rolled out every day. Great production. Great fun. One of those girls became a very famous actress. Katie Seagal. Yeah, there you go. Went on with us, what's it called, the Heroes, uh, the Biker Gang. Yeah, she series. was with quite a few, actually. Yeah. But one of the funniest nights I remember with Bette and Hamish, we just, I was white man, just finished. Arbor, Michigan. Ann Arbor? Ann Arbor, yeah. And uh, got a call from Atlantic Records. They're like, hey, you know, uh, the Spinners would like you to stop by Philippe's house. Like, okay. So off we go to Philippe's house. And we were like, you know, in our joveling face. Nice drink, a couple of joints, you know. So we go down to the man cave and he's all the guys in white leather suits. And that was the first time I knew what a taco was. They got all these tacos. You know what a taco was, you know. So unfortunately for the spinners, we had a taco fight. Yeah, where did Beth Mother come into this? She uh, she was with Hamish. Oh, so you all went. I got you. Oh, we all went, yeah. 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 So Beth used to do uh, the end of every tour. She or every, Sometimes we would do a sequence of, show, sequence of shows, and she'd do a roll call thanking everybody, and she'd always pretend to forget me. Yeah, she never mentioned yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a little special relationship. She was very sweet. I used to go and do things for her between tours. I'd get a call. Could I deliver some of the props or something to Beth's house in Coldwater Canyon in Beverly Hills? She was always very nice. This looks like a fun tour, though. It was. It was a lot of work. For the, the, there was one guy who took charge of all these props, Tom Picard. Keeping those uh, wheelchairs working and juiced up. <laughs> and the audience was absolutely devoted to her. She put everything she had into every show. I mean, she's non stop. Without her, there's no show. Yeah, of course. I mean, the whole thing is thick, laid on thick, the shtick, you know. Yeah. On about her boobs and her legs. And she has one song called Pretty. Great, pretty legs and great big knockers. Yes, I love it. Yeah, I can get. I can identify with them. Which one is Katie Sigal? Is that it? No, this is no. Katie isn't in this lineup. This is a later tour. Katie was in the first tour I did, and then they got all three new girls. It was a fun tour. We we never did a gig the day we traveled. 
It was always very classy. We were treated very well. We stayed in the same places. So, you know, it was a bit more than just a standard rock and roll tour. There was a little bit more to it. It was great fun. Well, it's theatrical. It? Yeah, very. We did 10 nights at Radio wow. City Music Hall in wow. New York. If anybody's been there, that's the classic um, Manhattan big time entertainment place. They have those high kicking dancers. Uh, oh, let's look at her. She's great. <laughs> she does it. <laughs> oh, look at those tits bouncing. Go on. Yeah. She's great. They shut their boots, you know, like anybody would. But when it's a solo artist, everything's on you. Yeah. Look great. And that's when she's really happy, that <laughs> smile, beautiful <laughs> smile. That's, that's really good. And back into her wheelchair. <laughs> no, she was so funny. She was a fun lady. On Atlantic Records, another yeah. one. Look at that, I mean, it, it, oh, very well rehearsed. Uh -huh. My job is just to look after some of the back line, but I ended up doing other little things during the show. Kind of uh, very interesting. Oh. So there's Bette Midler, one of Granny's yeah. tours. One of my tours. Wonderful, brilliant. 